Hey, free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So I'm going to answer a question that a lot of you guys have asked me over the, the course of like the past five days or so. So we only have two more days or rather three more days for the Leora banner. And I'm here to answer this question, which is who should you summon for? Now, I'm not talking about just Leora. I'm talking about four different espers that you might be considering right now. So the four espers are going to be Leora. Obviously, we have Gaius, we have Clara, and we are also going to talk about Yuhime, who is going to be the new esper in the upcoming update and she will be the banner as well as well so you guys have saved about 100 wish stones or more maybe you're 200 300 whatsoever but you're not sure what you should do right now now a lot of this is going to be predicated on my opinion on who are the better options for espers that you still do not have so for example my preference is going to be clara over gaius a lot of people are going to disagree there people are going to say that clara is not needed there are players who have not used clara for their entire early game mid game and even end game and they have no reason to use clara right now but i kind of beg to differ i've played an early game account using clara and she is remarkable i have my end game account right now and i still use clara for my temporal tower speed running and she has always been useful for me so i do feel like clara right now i'm a little bit biased but she is still very viable for me which is why i still think that clara is still very very optimal now as for why i say that clara is a little bit better than gaius is because gaius is pretty much replaceable if you have a camille or let's say you have other aoe dps espers like let's say you have a leora for example right you do not necessarily need to have gaius he is very much replaceable even with the twins as well so in the early game you can use the twins to clear all the content guys is just going to make things a lot easier for you but he's not essential right he just makes things a lot easier that's all he makes the game trivial so I'm going to try to summarize this as best as I can. So we're going to start off with Leora here. So in what situation should you summon for Leora right now before her banner ends? And to that, my answer would be if you do not have a Gaius and you do not have a Clara and you still have your wish pool active, that means you haven't used it for anything else. If you do not have a Gaius and you do not have a Clara, I would recommend that you go for a Leora just because you can go for a Leora now, stock up another 100 wish stones, which you can get within like the next one month or so, and use those wish stones to summon your Clara from the wish pool. So right now you would have both Leora and Clara within a period of one month. But for example, if you were to go for Gaius instead, then you will need to wait two entire months just to get your Clara next. Okay, now let's move on to the next aspect, which is going to be Gaius. And how I think you should prioritize Gaius is if number one, you do not have a Leora because they kind of cover similar roles, although not all the same roles because Gaius is a lot more versatile. But if you do not have a Leora and you already have a Clara, then go ahead and get your Gaius. But if you already have a Leora, I would not necessarily recommend you to immediately go for Gaius. I think there are other aspects that cover other grounds that are possibly going to give you more content coverage as opposed to just getting a Gaius, which has a lot of overlap with Leora in terms of like content clearing. Now, the third aspect we're going to talk about is Clara. And I think you should summon for her if you do not have a Gaius and you already have a Leora, for example. If you already had a Leora, then yes, Clara is going to be the next best choice for you, I think. And of course, this is via the wish pool. Now, the fourth and final esper for today's discussion is going to be Yuhime. Should you or should you not go for Yuhime? And of course, we have not even tested her in the main global server just yet. So I cannot say for sure like exactly where she's going to be great at, but we already have an idea of where she can perform based on some of the tests that I've already done. So for example, for APAP, she's not going to defense break APAP. And for example, for the Dark Star Lord, she's not going to be able to defense break as well. And in the Deathload Lens, she's not going to be able to apply debuffs as such. She will not get her health hand stack. So she's not going to be good in all of those content. That we already know. But here's my opinion on whether you should get Yuhime or not, depending on what your objectives are right now. So number one, if you are PvP focused, she is going to be probably the best choice for you right now in beating the current tanky meta or like the, the PvP HP boost meta. Or if you are endgame and you want to seriously enhance your APAP clearing speed. So while she's not able to defense break in APAP, she's able to use her first skill to do tremendous amount of damage in just one single hit. And that is going to definitely allow you to achieve some crazy numbers and crazy runtime. So Yuhime is going to be really good if you are chasing like, I don't know, sub 10 turns on APAP, for example. That's where I think she's going to shine at a lot. Or if you want to climb the burning pillar and you're struggling because you lack an AoE defense breaker or you lack like some decent AoE damage because Infernal Espers right now are lacking a little bit in AoE damage aside from Nama, of course. But she's definitely going to boost your Nama if you're already using him anyway. And also this extrapolates to having much faster temporal tower speed runs. So if you're trying to chase for like, I don't know, sub one hour speed runs in temporal tower every single month, you should be able to do it with Yuhime just because of all the AOE attacks that she automatically will perform just because of how smart her AI is in that regard. 
So these are all of my opinions and you should try to figure out where you belong to determine what kind of expert you want to pull for. And of course, this is entirely my own opinion based on my own experiences or lack thereof, especially pertaining to you, Hime. But I can guarantee you that for the most part, about 80% of whatever that I'm saying is based on already tested and proven facts. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any other questions, leave it down in the comment section below. And if you've enjoyed today's content, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now that's it, this has been Dairy Free to Play. And as always, I will see you in the next video.